What up everyone, Chimera45 here, welcome back to another Dragon Ball Super review, this time of episode 20. So we pick up exactly where our last episode ended, Frieza's been revived, he's shattered out of his generation pod, everyone's stunned in fear and awe of his power, although compared to our main characters right now, his power isn't that impressive. <clears throat> so him and Sorbet start talking, Sorbet comes up to him, and he's like, Hi, Lord Frieza, I'm the one who's been running the Frieza Force in your absence. And Frieza's like, Pfft, wow, no wonder everything's gone to shit. Let me guess, the only reason you've revived me after so many years is because my empire is falling to pieces and you need me back. Sorbet tries to deny this, but Frieza sees right through him. And Sorbet says that they were planning to revive King Cold, but Frieza's like, nah, don't do that, He's just he was a little bit too pompous for my liking. And Frieza's got a lot of room to talk there, if you ask me. So as they're talking, Frieza's talking about how his body's gotten a little rusty while he's been in hell, so he needs to train up before he goes and gets his revenge. Sorbet's like, what do you mean your revenge? Frieza's like, what do, you, what do you mean, what do I mean? I've got to go kill that filthy monkey. He embarrassed me. And Tagama's like, sir, maybe we should just forget about that and re focus on rebuilding our empire. And Frieza just puts a few death beams through him real quick. It's, uh, it, Frieza is a very ruthless character, so he will torture the fuck out of you and not care. So Frieza's like, it doesn't matter how strong he's gotten, I'll just get stronger. I'll, in four months, even though he's been able to defeat uh, beings like Majin Buu, who is one of the two people that his father told him never to mess with, he says in four months he'll be able to catch up to Goku and surpass him. That's a pretty big pretty big statement you know pretty bold statement especially since goku has become essentially a god in power now speaking of which back on beerus's world goku and vegeta are sparring each other and Whis is coaching them he can sense that they're letting their energy leak out of their bodies and he's like no you got to keep that contained so your opponent doesn't know what you're doing after a few more clashes their fists of fists you know they collide one more time and they briefly get a glimpse of divine energy um, is it, I don't, it's not true god key, like how Goku acquired in the Battle of Gods arc, but it's on a similar level, we'll say. And they both get a brief glimpse of it, and Vegeta's like, wow, that felt, that felt pretty good. And Whis is shocked that they've managed to come this far in such a little bit of time. Unfortunately, though, they've woken up Beerus from his nap with all of their ruckus, and he comes over and he's like, what are you two doing on my planet? Why aren't you on Earth f uh, training? And they explain that they want to get stronger. And, you know, Goku wants to get stronger and Vegeta doesn't want Goku to surpass him. Beerus thinks maybe they're after his job, but they both say, no, 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 we're not after that. And so Beerus is like, okay, so let me guess. You got him to train you by giving him something to eat. So where's my share? And in the last episode, Whis, Goku, and Vegeta kind of ate everything that Bulma sent with them this time. I guess Whis wasn't expecting Beerus to wake up. So Beerus gets a little angry. But before anything else happens, we cut back to Earth. Where a spaceship lands and a strange little guy is in it talking to Goten and Trunks asking them to get Bulma. As, they're, as he's talking to Goten and Trunks, he introduces himself as Jocko. Apparently him and Bulma have known each other for years. So Bulma finally shows up and they're talking for a little bit. And she reveals that Goten and Trunks both have Saiyan fathers. And Jocko is a little perturbed by this because there aren't supposed to be any Saiyans on Earth. But he ignores that and gets to the meat of the situation. That apparently, from the beginning of this episode to... A few minutes into this episode, it's been four months, and Frieza is on his way to Earth with a thousand soldiers, and he'll be there within the hour. So yeah, in one hour, Frieza's going to be showing up with an army, and Bulma desperately tries to contact Whis by holding up a Sunday in the air and screaming, Hey Whis, come and get this Sunday," But he doesn't, he doesn't hear her right now. So she calls up the, uh, the other Z-Warriors. She starts with Krillin. He's like, okay, even though I'm not a fighter anymore, if Frieza's back, he's going to destroy the whole planet, so I have no choice. So he has 18 shave his head so he can get back into fighting shape. And he goes and gets Roshi, and as they're flying to where Frieza's ship is going to land, Tien joins them, and then Gohan and Piccolo, and, they all, and the five of them arrive at the scene, and they can sense Frieza's intense, intense energy. 
it's it's just they're overwhelmed by it. They're like, holy shit, this this is Frieza? His energy's on a completely different level than it used to be. And they're just, you know, they're beyond shocked at the amount of power that they're feeling. And that's pretty much where the episode ends, with the Z fighters just gathered around looking up as Frieza's ship descends from the sky. Overall, this was an okay episode. You know, kind of slow. Not much action in it. Uh, you know, just the little brief flash of Goku and Vegeta training. But that quickly got tossed to the wind when it came to Frieza coming back. Um, animation was good. Voicing was good. Christopher Ayers is a good Frieza. I do miss Linda Young. Can't lie. She she was also a pretty good Frieza. But Chris Ayers just kind of has a more menacing tone. More like maniacal tone to his voice. But anyway, that's my review of episode 20. Hope you enjoyed. Give Dragon Ball Super a check because it's getting much better as time goes on. So I will see you all next time.